Hello, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and I'm so glad you could join me. Here is a lesson from the book Lesser Feasts and Fasts. Today is October 4th, the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi. Francis, the son of a prosperous merchant in Assisi, was born in the year 1182, and his early youth was spent in harmless revelry, revelry and fruitless attempts to win military glory. Various encounters with beggars and lippers prickled the young man's conscience, and he decided to embrace a life devoted to lady poverty. Despite his father's intense opposition, Francis totally renounced all material values and devoted himself to serve the poor. In the year 1210, Pope Innocent III confirmed the simple rule for the Order of Friars Minor a name Francis chose to emphasize his desire to be numbered among the least of God's servants. The order grew rapidly all over Europe, but by 1221 Francis had lost control of it. Since his ideal of strict and absolute poverty, both for the individual and for the order as a whole, was found to be too difficult to maintain. His last years were spent in much suffering of body and spirit, but his unconquerable joy never failed. Not long before his death during a retreat on Mount Laverna, Francis received on September 14th, Holy Cross Day, the marks of the Lord's wounds, the stigmata, in his own hands and feet and side. Pope Gregory IX, a former patron of the Franciscans, canonized Francis in the year 1228 and began the erection of the great basilica in Assisi, where Francis is buried. Of all the saints, Francis is the most popular and admired, but probably the least imitated. Few have attained to his total identification with the poverty and the sufferings of Christ. Francis left few writings, but of these his spirit of joyous faith comes through most truly in the Canticle of the Son, which he composed at Clare's convent of St. Damien's and the hymnal version begins, Most high, omnipotent, good Lord, to thee be ceaseless praise outpoured, and blessing without measure. Let creatures all give thanks to thee, and serve in great humility. Let us pray. O high, most omnipotent, good God, grant your people grace to renounce gladly the vanities of this world that following in the way of St. Francis, we may, for love of you, delight in your whole creation with perfectness of joy through Jesus our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.